Today we're going to take your democracy quiz, so get a piece of notebook paper, a test paper, and a pencil, and let's get started. First, a title of the paper is going to be democracy quiz. And then please put a proper heading, which is your first and last name. And your period number. Then number your paper 1 to 10 and don't skip lines. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, I'm going to read the test to you. You can stop the tape anytime you want. You can rewind the video anytime you want and listen to it over again as often as you have to to get the best answer. All right, so take a minute, get your paper set up, and we'll get started. Okay, let me zoom in here for you. Number one, multiple choice. Number one, which of the following best describes a representative democracy? A, citizens elect officials to make the laws. B, all citizens help make the laws. C. All men, women, and children can vote. Or D. One aristocrat makes all the decisions. Number two. A government in which only a few rich people have power is called A. A monarchy. B. An oligarchy. C. A democracy. Or D. A tyrant. Read the question carefully. Number three. What does democracy mean? A. Rule of the few. B. Rule of the leaders. C. Rule of the people. Or D. Rule of the powerful. Number four. Which one of the following words is not related to the other two words? So you've got three words here. Which one is not related? A, direct democracy, B, oligarchy, or C, aristocrats. Two of those words are related. Pick the one that's not. A, B, or C. Put the letter, on your, put the letter of the correct answer only on your paper. Number five. Which one of the following words is not related to the other two? A. Athens B. Direct Democracy C. USA Number six. Which one of the following words is not related to the other two? A. USA B. Athens C. Representative Democracy Number seven, which of the following is not a characteristic of a direct democracy? Not. That means three of these are characteristics of a direct democracy and one of them isn't. Is it A, citizens, B, tyrant, C, voting, or D, debating? Number eight. The form of government in which all citizens vote on all decisions is called blank democracy. Your two choices are direct or representative. Write one of those two words down on your paper for number eight. Number nine. A small town could choose to have a blank democracy if they can figure out a way to allow all the citizens of that town to vote on the decisions. Fill in the blank with either the word direct or the word representative. Don't write on this paper. Put your answers on your answer sheet. Number 10, true or false? All people in Athens were citizens and could participate in the government. I'll repeat that. All people in Athens were citizens and could participate in government. 
write out the word true or the word false on your paper for number 10. So when you're finished, you should have a list of letters, A's, B's, or C's, right down here. For number 8 and for number 9, you should have either the word direct or representative written in 8 or 9, and then you should have the word true or false written in number 10. Take a few minutes if you want to and listen to the test over again and change any answers that you think you need to change. When you're finished, you can turn off the video and bring your test to me.